Hello my dear children and parents. Welcome to Indus Valley Public School Rat e-learning classes. Class 7th where we were doing poem 8 from your honeycomb book and the name of the poem is Meadow Surprises composed by Louis Brandt Philip. In this poem meadow means grassland that is an area covered with grass. This poem will have too many surprises that were hidden in the meadow. It could only be seen if you can look and listen cautiously. There are various surprises if you try to discover them. It means there are too many things that are hidden in a garden. Once you walk inside the garden and if you try to look very cautiously, very keenly, very sharply, then only you are able to see all that hidden things. Even you can listen to many sounds that are hidden inside the meadow. For that, you have to listen very carefully, very cautiously and very patiently all that sound so that you can discover them. So before moving towards the poem, we should know about the poet. So come about poet. This is the photograph of Louis Randall Philip. Louis Philip was born on 15 June 1942 in Lowell, Manchester, in an American poet, playwright, editor, and author of children's stories. He received a BA from Stetson University in 1964, an MA from University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill Anthony in 1965 and 1967 respectively. He was a joint winner of a 18, 1984 Swallow's Tale Press Poetry Award and was featured poet in the spring-summer 2011 issue of Light Quarterly. Now moving towards the poem. So this is your poem mentioned in your book. Middle Surprise. Walk across a green field, a park, or even under a clump of trees and you will notice many wonderful things. What a same of surprise a meadow has for someone with a keen eye or a keen sharp ear. So it is said that one can only observe the hidden surprises and hidden voice inside the green grassland if you have sharp ears and keen eyesight. Now coming to the poem, widows have surprises, you can find them if you look. Walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook. You may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking straws to sip the nectar up. You may scare a rabbit who is sitting very still, though at first you may not see him, when you hop you will. A dandelion whose fusy head was golden days ago has turned into airy parasuit that flatter when you blow. Explore the meadow houses, the burrows in the ground, a nest beneath tall grasses, the ants' amazing mound, oh meadow, have surprises and many things to tell. You may discover these yourselves if you look and listen well. So this is the poem. Now coming to the explanation of the poem. The first stanza. So this is your first stanza. Meadow have surprises. You can find them if you look. Walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook. So here rhyme scheme is A, B, C, A, B, A, B. So, this is look and brook sound as similar. Surprises, grass, similar. Okay. So, now coming towards the meaning. Velvet means silk and soft. Brook means a small stream. Then meadow, a field of green grass. And this is a picture of brook. See, a narrow white color thing. That is a brook, a small stream. Now, coming towards the explanation. The poet noted that a meadow has several surprise 
okay if one pay attention a meadow has several surprises to offer it is a great pleasure to walk through the velvety soft grass and hear the sound of the brook so when a small this thing no stream used to flow no it sounds very nice okay so it is told about that sound and it is told about walking on the velvety grass now coming to the second stanza this is your second stanza you may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and up fold its drinking straws to sip the nectar up so here buttercup means flowers on which butterfly used to sit and through their uh, this thing a straw there uh, this thing through which they used to suck the nectar so that is their drinking straw so they used to take the flowers juice into their body so here nectar means a sweet fruit produced by flower now coming to the explanation the poet describes a beautiful sight one may encounter in the meadows in the meadow it is possible to come across a butterfly comfortably placed upon her buttercup of flowers full of nectar it would seem as if the butterfly is sipping nectar from the birds and flowers with the help of a drinking straw coming to the third stanza you may scare a rabbit who is sitting very still though at first you may not see him when he hope you will so see a rabbit sitting very quietly when you start hoping you will be able to see him scare means frighten and hop means to jump or spring now coming to the explanation the poet describes yet another beautiful sight walking on the soft grass one may not be immediately able to see rabbit hiding there the rabbit might get frightened by our footsteps and would hop out of the grass that indeed is a sight worth so this is a description of rabbit where he is sitting very silently when you are walking there by the noise of your foot he uh, that rabbit start hopping here and there in order to hide himself he gets he gets scared by he, uh, hearing your foot voice stanza number next stanza 4 a dandelion whose fuzzy head was golden day ago has turned to a airy parachutes that flutter when you blow so this flower is dandelion one yellow color and when it's become fuzzy when its petal goes off and when it become dry all everything is gone from that flower and it look like a parachute when means when you blow the air on it it it's look like a parachute because it start flying in the air that's why it is said as parachute fuzzy means having soft texture so this other one more flower is other than yellow that is the fuzzy head types flutter move like the wings of birds as a birds ka wings hota hai that way and blow exhale with force to jo aap hawa muh se bahar nikalte ho that is the blow now coming to the explanation so here the poet describes the sight of birds transforming into flowers dandelion or bright yellow flower that appeared golden several days ago have bloomed and flutter as you go near and blow at them okay coming to the next stanza explore the meadow houses the burrows in the ground a nest beneath tall trees the ants amazing mounds the different kind of houses that are present in the meadow has been described in this stanza so now burrows a hole in the ground made by an animal so this is the burrow see these are the burrows then mount a pile of earth so this way aapne dekha hoga jab cheetiyan aapke zameen ko khod ke nikalti hain to is tarah ka koi shape ban jata hai that is a mount ant used to do all this thing now coming to the explanation the poet describes certain houses that are that are to be seen if one explores the meadows one comes across various houses there are burrows in the ground meant for smaller animals 
Some nets are found beneath the tall grass and mounts for the ants are also there. Okay. Now coming to the stanza number six. Oh, meadow have surprises and many things to tell. You may discover these yourself if you look and listen well. So discover means find out. Now coming to the explanation. The poet reiterates the fact that a meadow has several surprises. If one is able to pay a little attention, look and listen well, one may and several beautiful surprises in the meadows. So here, children, we are going to end with the explanation. So go through the explanation and the poem of the poem in the video. Any doubt, do call me up. In the next video, I'll provide you with the summary, rhyme schemes. Then I'll give you the literary devices and the question answers of the poem. Till then. Bye-bye and thank you so much. Take care.